Hello, my fire signs. So this is going to be your energy check-in for the month of August. We're going to be doing Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius in that order. Timestamps will be listed in the description box below and pinned in the comment section. A lot of people ask me, JJ, can I do a personal horoscope with you it's not in my services but you can definitely hit me up in an email let me know and i will be glad to work something out with you um, or you can buy a one question and just request that say jj i just want to know what's going on in the month of and we can do that definitely again just as a reminder you guys um i know i haven't been constant in youtube right now it's because i'm getting 30 to 35 uh, readings weekly so I'm really trying to do my best to you know get the the rest that I need as well because or else I can't do readings if I'm not well rested so let's see for Leo August 2019 what's going on for my Leos Mars is in your sign right now Leo so you should be feeling very good Venus is still in your sign or was in your sign um, but you should be feeling very good Leo the sun is in your sign. A lot of things are in your sign right now. So my Leo should be feeling popping. Let's see. <laughs> my Leo's August. August 2019. So this is for sun, moon, and rising, you guys. Okay. for Or cross watchers as well. Okay. Fire Leo. August 2019. Two cards fell for you, Leo birthday yes it's your birthday season you guys happy birthday see the cards no i completely forgot <laughs> you get two cards here okay you get two cards they fell so we're gonna do that happy birthday to you guys i hope you guys have a beautiful solar return i hope you guys write down um all your wishes and your goals for the next cycle of your life okay so let's see august 2019 what is your energy check and something's happening within the next few weeks you guys that's exciting new things are happening i'm picking up um, a lot of opportunities are coming in for you oh wait why did i get two cards whoa okay never mind i got two cards for you guys the answer the angel answers i was supposed to only get one okay well that one needed to come out then I was supposed to get an angel card. <laughs> okay, Leo. Let's see, Leos. Let's see what's going on for you guys. I see you take making decisions. I see you not settling. I see you being like Queen of Swords energy here. Calling the shots. I'm hearing like you're not settling. I just keep hearing I'm not settling anymore. I'm cutting away through the confusion. I'm so I'm rolling heads here. Okay, it's kind of like heads are rolling. You're, you're not dealing with things that are not worth your time, okay? But you're doing it in a compassionate, loving way. But you're creating change for yourself. And because you're also seeing that change is here and good luck is here for you guys. That's what I'm getting. So a lot of opportunities. Let's see, Leo. Yes, Jupiter and Leo. So six of wands, you know, a lot of feeling confident, feeling good. People are looking at you. The center of attention is on you. And you love that. It's your season. It's your birthday, you know? A lot of family gatherings, a lot of people telling you happy birthdays. It's all good. You're moving forward. Queen of Wands, yes. Again, <laughs> the life of the party. The life of the party. You're feeling good. You have the magic. You're doing things. I see you being active, being in the spotlight. You're just feeling really, really good. A lot of fire energy. You're feeling driven. You're like, I want to do this and I'm going for it. You're being like the queen of wands, queen of swords energy here. You're going after what you want. You're not settling. Um, you're very creative at this time. You're very in tuned with your magic, with your intuition. You are the manifester at this time. So make sure that you are only manifesting positive things in your life and not focusing on the negative, okay? I see you being very courageous and doing a lot of things at the same time. I see a lot of energy going through you and using this time, a very productive time for you in all areas of your life. And people are seeing that. People are acknowledging that from you. 
some of you if you're waiting if you're wanting to get with a queen of wands or a king of wands because these are general readings i do see you moving forward with this person i do see you contacting this person and for some of you i do see this person coming into you and and like being like hey you know um just making contact with you a lot of wands whoa be careful with your temper you guys be careful with your temper um, I see you, okay, some of you, someone is coming in and out of your life really, really fast, okay, so I see someone is very stable, and because you have a lot of attention being put on you right now, Leo, I feel like you gotta be careful who you're letting in, or who you're letting your guards down to, just because I feel like this Knight of Wands is this energy of, like, someone who comes in and out of your life does not want anything serious. Again, huge disclaimer. If this is something that you're looking for, if you're like, JJ, I don't want nothing serious. I just want, you know, something um, fun for a day or two, or, you know, just see where it goes, then by all means, then this is good. This, that's coming for you. But if you're looking for something stable, this is not the person for you. I also feel like there's a lot of movement. It's a lot of movement happening for you guys in August. Um, pure wands. <laughs> you guys are definitely feeling in your element you guys are feeling confident you guys are feeling king of the world is kind of what i'm hearing here there's a lot of fast progress uh there's a lot of movement forward i also feel like these horses are gonna butt head right now this one's charging full speed ahead and this one is taking their time showing showcasing their stuff um i feel like if things were slow they're gonna pick up but I'm also getting like, be careful you're not clashing with someone here. Again, because this person, it's, this person feels like, this is someone that's on a mission, but see, they're not going to care who they step over to get there, okay? And, and this person feels more like, you know, I'm enjoying the attention, I'm enjoying my ride. And this person is like, no, I need to get. So be careful, okay? It feels like someone might be stepping in your toes. Someone might be trying to kind of steal the spotlight here a little bit. Um, it might be another fellow fire sign here. Be careful with your temper. I am hearing that a lot. So be careful you're not getting angry. You don't have any arguments. There's some type of peaceful resolution happening for you guys. So if you have like a court case, if you have something that was troubling you, just know that there will be a fair outcome for everyone involved. If you're in a dispute between another fire sign, I feel like you guys are moving forward. Okay, I don't know if I said that before. It's time for you to be assertive. It's no longer a time for you to sit on the side to sit on the sidelines. Spirit is really telling you to move forward with things. Go after what you want. Stand up for what you want. The Queen of Wands is not going to settle. She's going to speak her mind, right? Yeah, you got the power. Definitely in August, Leo, you have the power. You have the ability to resolve anything in your favor. You can charm your way through anything this month, I feel. Success. Oh, that's why the this card came out extra. Success. You have success for the month of August, Leo. And you already know what to do. That's why I feel like some of you are charging full speed ahead because you already know what you're doing, where you want to go. So you're going after it. For others of you, it's just someone that's coming in and I feel like may want to deter you. But Spirit is saying, stay focused on your intentions. Stay focused on what you want. I am forgiving. Some of you need to forgive this Knight of Wands. This might be someone who came into your life a while ago at the beginning of the year and now is coming back again because they're seeing the light being put on you. They're seeing that you're growing. They're seeing that, you know, you have this queen king of wands energy and they're seeing that, you know, there's a lot of attention on you and they they want it. They want that piece of that cake. And again, spirit is saying it's up to you whether you let them in or not, but I feel like someone is coming back in for you to forgive them. This person might have a feather tattoo. I don't know why they're just really pointing out the tattoo. Or you might be seeing a lot of feathers. That's your angels letting you know. For some of you, you there's a lot of success coming in. In every area of your life, okay? Uh, Leo, so now we're going to move to Aries. So Aries, let's see what's going on for Aries. Aries for the month of... August 2019. 
the energy check-in for Aries for the month of August 2019 Aries. Spiritual understanding, Aries, okay? You're understanding something. I feel like if you were in fogged about something, you were confused about something, there's some type of understanding coming in for the month of August. Okay. There's something exciting. Business, business is really for some of you. Um, a business venture. Some of you are stepping into a solid relationship, I am hearing. Specifically, I'm hearing Taurus. Let's see, Aries. Aries, there's an offer coming in. Okay, there's an offer. A love offer. Like I said, it could be a Taurus. You're feeling very good. You're feeling very romantic. You're feeling like, you know, very creative. Someone is hesitating whether to move forward with this opportunity or not. Again, like the Taurus. I feel like some of you are like, well, this Taurus is taking a long time to... Um, to move forward with things. And I feel like... The spirit is saying it's okay that's just the way they are but once they take a step forward they um they move forward that's what i'm saying they think they move forward <laughs> okay so let's see so for my aries we have love like i said there's an offer coming in for you guys this came out in reverse so i feel like if you were questioning a relationship if you were unsure about a relationship if things were stagnant in the relationship i feel like things are finally moving forward because when this is like this this means a stop this means um, things are at a standstill. Things are not moving forward. Reverse, they are moving forward. I don't read reversals, but that one specifically came out in reversal. Again, some of you, a Pisces is giving, is offering you something. A love offer. There's something here. You're making a choice too. I feel like if you were stuck in making a choice, you're no longer going to be stuck. Clarity is coming in and you're making that decision. You're choosing yourself and you're choosing what's best for you. Okay, Aries. That's what it feels like. Some of you may be dealing with Gemini, with a water sign, specifically Pisces, or I'm heavily picking up on Taurus. I am lovable. Yes. You're letting someone in. You're letting your guard down, Aries. I love that. The red hair for Aries. That's so cute. Um, there's someone coming in and you look like a little bit I'm not sure <laughs> you're not sure of this I feel like this person is very spiritual by the way I feel like you're stepping into a lot of self confidence Aries here but I also feel like there's this energy of like I'm not sure like I'm bored with where I am or where I'm at in life Angel therapy, give your cares and concerns to us, our angels, and allow us to take your burden. So whatever is burdening you, if it's making a decision, if it's about a relationship, is if it is about your emotions or about something, you know, in the spiritual sense, spirit is really saying, you don't have to do this alone. You don't have to carry the weight of the, show, of, of the world on your shoulders. You can actually pray and tap into your spirituality to help you right unlikely something is unlikely to happen spiritual teacher your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality yeah some of you are tapping into that with uh the lovers here and the hanged man you're making you're choosing spirituality where before i feel like maybe you didn't now you are. I'm choosing to be more spiritual. I'm choosing to surrender. I'm choosing to choose myself. I'm choosing... There's something here about spirituality. I'm also getting here that the person that's coming in for some of you is a spiritual teacher. 
for others of you i feel like you are meant to teach therapy or there's something here about the correlation between the two so you're either a teacher or you're a therapist but there's something here about you teaching you're a natural natural counselor you're able to see things from a different perspective and spirit is saying you're going to embrace that for the month of august I feel like you, you're, you're starting to realize that you have a lot to give. I'm also hearing you're wearing a dress for the first time. There's a miracle happening for you guys, Aries. There's a precious gift being offered to you. For some of you, this is a person. This is a person who is coming in to give you inspiration, to help you make a choice, to help you see something in a different way here, Aries. Financially, it feels like there's not going to be major changes, so you're going to continue how you've been, okay? Not anything drastic, nothing like that. Um, career, I feel like some of you are stepping into teaching and therapy, But I feel like mostly you're going to be focused on relationships, self-love, and spirituality for the month of August, Aries. Again, if someone comes in and it's not your usual type, still give this person a chance. I feel like you might be surprised. Okay, Aries, now we're going to go into Sag. Sagittarius, let's see what's going in for Sag. Again, that energy of moving slow, slow. A lot of aces, guys. A lot of new things happening for you. A lot of new beginnings. Especially in the career sector I am picking up for you, Sag. Sagittarius, August 2019. What energy check-in? What energies are with them? Or what energies will be with them for the rest of the month? Yeah, new beginning. It's a new beginning. Something exciting is coming in for you, Sagittarius. Some of you have something going on with the Virgo. Or with an older person, whether you're male or female, but there's someone older than you. For some of you, you're going on a spiritual journey to find, to seek your inner truth. There's something about, you know, um, finding myself. Finding my place. two cards okay let's see Sagittarius August 2019 okay let's see Sag let's see what's going on for you guys I see a lot of reflection. There's a lot of reflection. There's a lot of success. There's a lot of reflecting on what you have accomplished. It feels like many of you are going again on a spiritual journey to do a lot of shadow work too. Four of Cups. Ooh, the night, the night, the Page of Pentacles. It's in reverse. So some of you feel like you can't. There's this opportunity that you want in car, in career, finances, or studies. And it feels like you feel like it's not going to happen, but it is going to happen. It's being offered to you. Maybe not in the way that you had hoped because it's in reverse. Or it might be less than. So some of you, you know, you get a job increase or you get um, a little bit of a loan. And it's not the amount that you wanted. But Spirit is saying still be thankful because you still got something. 
some of you are wait again a virgo a taurus or a capricorn you're waiting for them to make an offer or they made an offer but you turned them down literally it was turned around two of swords i see you making a decision be, deciding something wanting to decide something either to turn down a job turn down an opportunity or should you go for it i see you kind of hesitating okay i see you that's why i feel like you might go on a journey you might be like oh you know i'm not sure i should maybe take some time off and reflect on this and think about this some of you are deciding whether to pursue something with an earth sign some of you are not wanting to look at something too saying hello yeah you're going through a transition something's ending for something new can begin clairsentience follow your intuition follow your emotions there's a victory here you are worthy of this it's up to you they're giving you the ball sag they're saying it's up to you what do you wish to do i feel like whatever you decide you are protected at this time destiny your vision is the is the destiny that you've envisioned for yourself right and remain positive you're being very defensive too sagittarius that's what it feels like here you're being too defensive there's something new happening you're ending something again to start something new pay attention to your intuition whatever is coming your way just know that you are worthy of it and if you need to take time to think things through go ahead and do so but there's a victory here there's a lot of success coming in and again spirit is saying it's up to you you have to be positive this is what you wanted they're giving you something but you're not taking it either because it seems less than what you feel that you wanted but i feel like there's more than meets the eye here okay it might look like it's not good like at the beginning but it's actually good for you okay it's gonna lead you to where you it's gonna lead you to where you need to be even if you know sometimes we have to take those jobs that we don't like but they lead you to that company that you wanted to that position that you always wanted that's kind of what it feels like here sagittarius so whatever this is just stay positive it's leading you to where you need to be make sure that you know that you make a choice because not even making a choice is making a choice i hope that you guys understand that but there's a victory here happiness success is happening for you money might be a little bit you know penny pinching here but it's okay you're gonna be okay so that is what i have for you guys i wish you the best take care of yourself bye